centro, ¿quién remata? ¡Cristiano! Welcome to Channel The Golden Goal. We will bring you the fastest, latest news about the day of the ball world. Take the subscribe and press the bell button to see the next videos. Alexis Sanchez reveals worrying thing he noticed about teammates during PSG defeat Manchester United forward Alexis Sanchez says he knew something wasn't right the moment Paris Saint-Germain scored their opener in Tuesday's Champions League defeat. The Chilean came off the bench just before the break to replace the injured Jesse Lingard in the first leg of the last 16 tie this week. United were level with the French champions at the time but would go on to lose the match 2-0, with goals coming from Presnel Kimpembe and Kylian Mbappé. And Sanchez has admitted that he felt the game was beyond the Red Devils as soon as Kim Pembe opened the scoring because of the reaction of his teammates. When they scored that first goal, I looked at them, teammates, and I thought, no, something is not right, Sanchez told the BBC. And the Chilean admits his time is running out to make a success of his move to Old Trafford. He added, I would like to have brought more joy to the club, more things. Gradually I'd say, time will tell what happens. Bayern Munich wait as Gianfranco Zola's snub pushes Callum hudson Odi closer to no deal exit at Chelsea Callum hudson Odi's prospects of signing a new deal at Chelsea have receded even further after Gianfranco Zola's comments that the winger is on the edge of the team and there aren't many 18-year-olds in Europe playing as many games as him. hudson Odi, the subject of a £35 million bid from Bayern Munich last month, was already dispirited by Maurizio Sarri's reluctance to use him. But Zola's response to the six minutes he was given at Malmo in the Europa League on Thursday will have only strengthened his conviction that the coach doesn't truly believe in him. Hudson Odi is not expected to start against Manchester United on Monday, despite starting in the two previous FA Cup rounds against Nottingham Forest and Sheffield Wednesday. Chelsea will welcome Eden Hazard back to the starting 11 for their meeting with Manchester United at Stamford Bridge. The Belgian ace was restricted to a substitute appearance during the Europa League win over Malmo in midweek but should come back into the side for the FA Cup tie manager Maurizio Sarri rotated his squad for the trip to Sweden, allowing a number of his key players a rest ahead of the Blues' busy upcoming schedule. Sarri faced calls to quit after Chelsea were thumped 6-0 by Manchester City in the Premier League last weekend shipping four of those goals inside the first 25 minutes. The 2-1 win on Thursday thanks to goals from Ross Barkley and Olivier Giroud has eased the pressure on a 60-year-old, although a defeat to United and a loss in the Carabao Cup final against City will see spark speculation about his future. As well as Hazard coming back into the team, Glo Conte is expected to feature from the off after being benched in Malmo. The Frenchman should line up alongside Jorginho while Barkley could keep his place at the expense of Matteo Kovacic. Pep Guardiola still has to find a solution to his midfield problem at Man City Manchester City beat Newport County 4-1 in the FA Cup fifth round, the inclusion of Fernandinho was just one of the talking points from Rodney Parade. The biggest surprise in Pep Guardiola's team selection was the presence of Fernandinho. Most people expected the 33-year-old to be rested ahead of a big week next week, but he was involved from the start on a pitch that sapped the legs. It shows his importance to City and how thin on the ground alternatives are. Guardiola treats this competition with the utmost respect, but it had seemed an obvious night to give the Brazilian a rest. Guardiola has said on numerous occasions this season that Fernandinho can play every week but when he's fit he's being asked to and the chances of a rest will be few and far between during the run and the city boss has struggled to find a solution within the squad and when Fernandinho departed at Rodney Parade it was John Stones who filled in for him. But neither he nor Ilke Gundogan have impressed. Guardiola was impressed by the performance of Phil Foden at Rodney Parade. The City boss had challenged his players to perform at Newport to earn a place in his Champions League squad next week and while the 18-year-old is unlikely to be a starter in Germany he showed he has the commitment to go with his craft. Chances have been few and far between for the teenager and he is still awaiting a first Premier League start, but with performances like this that reward can't be far away. There might be some world-class players in front of him but Foden is well on his way to filling that category himself. Liverpool top Premier League fair play table with Manchester United bottom Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool are head and shoulders above everyone else this season. Liverpool were forced to relinquish their lead at the top of the Premier League, temporarily, when Manchester City put six past Chelsea last weekend. But the Reds are still comfortably top of another league table, the Premier League fair play rankings. 
the Reds topped the table by six points ahead of Chelsea, with their tally of just 21 yellow cards and no straight Reds helping to achieve a commendably low score at this stage of the season. No other Premier League club has seen less yellow cards than Liverpool this season, with Chelsea having the second lowest tally and seeing 12 more bookings than Jurgen Klopp's title chasing side. Arsenal could have played for hours without scoring against Fate Borisov. Says Petr Cech. Petr Cech has blamed Arsenal's attackers for the Gunners' defeat to bait Borisov and says the club could have played for hours longer without scoring in Belarus. Unai Emery's men collapsed to a 1 0 defeat in their last 32 first leg tie in Minsk, with Martin Keown describing it as the worst performance we've seen under the Spaniard. Henrik Mihitar Jan missed a simple chance to put the Gunners ahead within 90 seconds in Belarus, while Alexander Lukasic, who was set off late on, also missed with an easy header. And Czech, who is set to retire at the end of the season, says the Gunners' forwards were nowhere near their best against Bait. Yesterday it was one of those games where if we played for another couple of hours probably we wouldn't have scored, but there are games in football like that. You try, you play, the goal does not arrive and you have to go home with the result you don't want but you have to pick yourself up and be ready for the second leg. Ryan Giggs explains why Man United games versus Liverpool FC and Chelsea are timed perfectly Ryan Giggs believes Manchester United's upcoming games against Chelsea and Liverpool are the perfect way to respond to the Reds' first defeat under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. United fell to a 2-0 home defeat against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League on Tuesday night, with the League One side becoming the first team in history to leave Old Trafford with a margin of victory greater than one goal in European competition. It broke Solskjaer's incredible record of 10 games unbeaten as United's caretaker manager, and handed the Reds a mountain to climb in the second leg in Paris on March 6. But Giggs says an eventual defeat was inevitable and insists Solskjaer side will not take much encouragement to perform in the FA Cup game at Chelsea on Monday night before the Premier League visit of Liverpool a week on Sunday. Manchester United have been brilliant since Ole took over but we all knew what United are, they were in a false position in the league before he took over but they're still a few players short of challenging in the Champions League year after year, the Wales manager told Sky Sports. Gareth Bale snubbed Real Madrid teammates says Thibaut Courtois Thibaut Courtois has criticized Real Madrid teammate Gareth Bale for not adapting to the Spanish way of life, and says the Welsh winger has been dubbed the golfer by the rest of the squad. Courtois says Bale recently snubbed his Madrid colleagues by preferring to have an early night rather than sitting down to a meal with the other players. Bale, who reportedly spends most of his spare time on the golf course, has been continually linked with a move back from Spain to the Premier League. When asked what the Madrid players called Bale, the goalkeeper answered. The golfer. Speaking to Belgian newspaper HLN, Courtois said, It is very hard to describe Gareth in one word. I would say he has so much talent, but that it is such a shame that so often that talent is blocked from shining. He added, I live like somebody who is born and bred in Madrid. I eat late, I go bed late. It is their way of life. The other night we had a dinner with the entire squad. But Bale and, Tony, Kroos did not turn up. They reckon the dinner was too late at night. 